So now the next thing is uh, types of material on the basis of conductivity. So first is conductors, second one is insulators and the third one is semiconductors. So you know about these all three things. Conductors are those which can conduct electricity very easily. Okay? Like uh, silver, like copper, like aluminium, like iron. Means all the metals except few ones. Uh, all the metals are conductors. Okay? In which the silver is the most conductive material. Means the best conductor. Then on insulator, then you'll come on insulator. So the insulators are not conductors means they insulate the conductivity of current means in these substances current cannot flow like rubber plastic many other things wood uh, and the paper many other things many things are there then we will come to the semiconductors semiconductors are those material which can conduct but not as good as conductors Okay, so their conductivity lies between the conductivity of semiconductor lies between conductors and insulator. Means the conductivity of uh, material, if you arrange it in descending order, then the conductivity is best in conductors, then semiconductors, then in insulators. Okay, is it clear? So now the question arises that uh, why these three materials are different? why the amount of current flowing through these three materials are different so it depends upon the free electrons it depends upon the number of free electrons so you must know that uh, which thing constitute current how current flows okay so current is constituted by the charge carriers which type of charge carrier Actually, the charge carrier that uh, constitute the current is electron. Okay, you must heard about proton, electron, neutron. So the charge carrier which constitute the electric current is electron. Okay, is it clear? Right. So uh, suppose we have a wire. It is connected through a switch and through a battery. Okay, it has many free electrons because it is a conductor. So in conductors, number of free electrons is more. Okay, so these free electrons are just lying in this wire, but they are not moving. Why they are they are not moving? Because the circuit is off. Okay, circuit is not closed. Okay, switch is off. Okay, so the current is not flowing in this wire. But uh, what happens when as the switch is on? As the switch is on, the current is to start flowing through this wire and through this, through this uh, conductor. So the electron comes in motion now. But the direction of motion is just opposite to the direction of flow of current you must see you can see here the direction of flow of current is from positive to negative terminal but the direction of flow of electron is negative to positive okay i'll tell you the reason why it happens okay i'll tell you the reason later so we can say that when the charge carriers are in motion जब ये charge carriers motion में आ रहे हैं तब ही इसमें current flow हो पा रहा है otherwise ये current flow नहीं होता is it clear? means these charge carrier is constituting electric current here right? so we can give the definition of electric current here it is represented by capital I so I could be defined as the rate of flow of charge. Okay, I formula of current is electric current is I is equal to Q upon T. So Q means charge here and T is time here. 
so you know that when 1 upon t is known as rate i told you that thing earlier so the rate of the rate of what flow of charge is called electric current okay it's very simple the rate of flow of charge is called electric current okay then i will tell you the unit of electric current the si unit of electric current is the unit of charge is actually coulomb and the unit of time si unit of time is second so you can write it as coulomb per second coulomb per second or you can represent it as it as ampere what ampere is it clear to you